They offer career and technical educational programs, including criminal justice, to non-traditional students. Here to tell us more about their programs at East Valley Institute of Technology are criminal justice instructor Elizabeth Franco, along with Miranda Moore, who is a criminal justice student. Good morning, you two. Good Thanks morning. Thanks for being here. Elizabeth, let me start with you. Tell me about the EVIT criminal justice programs. Thank you. First of all, thank you for inviting us. Um, EVIT's criminal justice program is a program that affords our students an education in criminal justice. So we have academics, and for that, they have dual enrollment. And we also have hands-on, and for that, there's activities. And we also afford our students PT, which is some uh, physical ed. Tell me about the video we're seeing right here. Oh, so that video is EVIT's Expo. That was a couple weeks ago. So that is an opportunity for the community to come out and see what EVIT's all about. And ask their questions. Miranda, how long have you been in this program and what do you want to do when you graduate? This will be my second full year attending EVIT. And I've discovered so many different job opportunities. But currently, I'd like to work for Homeland Security. That's amazing. And Elizabeth, when we say non-traditional students, what does it, that exactly mean? So a non-traditional student in criminal justice means as simple as it's a female. A wow. Girl, a girl in our program. So is that because so, there's so few females in the program and out in the criminal justice? That's correct. And let me ask you, when you, know, you, you talk to students like Miranda, what do you tell them? What advice and what can they do after they graduate? So there's a lot of opportunities for uh, females in criminal justice. So what I share with my girls um, is that they need to follow their dreams. If they want to be a cop, if they want to be a lawyer, if they want to work forensics, they can do it. But it, it takes work like anything else. And Miranda, tell me as a female in a male-dominated class as well as a workforce, tell me what you've learned and what kind of advice do you have for other young women who are interested in this path? Actually, the class isn't very male-dominated. We have nearly, well, half of the class is females. As you can see, there are a lot of women in that video. Yes. And so, Elizabeth, this is something that, I mean, you really open the door for young women who want to get into this. Right, right. We do. And we encourage them. We don't let them slack. They have to do everything the boys do. It's equal opportunity for them. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming in and good luck. I know you're going to be very, very successful. So thanks for sharing your story. And if you'd like to learn more about the East Valley Institute of Technology, you can visit their website, evit.com, or call the number on your screen.